the Nintendo Ninjas just caught another body. He's gone. Nothing left. Wiped off the face of the earth. They're smoking on him as we speak. What's crazy is they're suing this man for $7.5 million, bro. And it's deserved. The guy's just an idiot. There's no other way to put it. Nintendo's usually ruthless, cutthroat when it comes to this kind of stuff. But this guy was given chance after chance, and he still was acting brain dead. His name is Jesse Keegan, a 38-year-old Castle Rock man known as Every Game Guru. Just this month, Nintendo filed this copyright lawsuit in Colorado federal court against Keegan. You're 38 years old, and you're, you're ruining your entire life over some, some early access to Mario Party Jamboree? The fuck? What the heck? Bruh. Accusing him of streaming at least 10 of Nintendo's leaked games before publication and more than 50 times. For 50 violation, times! Nintendo is demanding $150,000. They asked this man 50 times. They asked him 50 times to stop streaming our games early. That is not like Nintendo. Usually Nintendo just cuts your balls off instantly. On spot. Which could mean a cost of more than $7 million. <sighs> He points out video game companies like Nintendo don't mind streaming of current games. But exactly, these right? These games are huge violations. It's the, it's, it's the Yuzus. If you know, you know. It's the Yuzus and the Ryujin Xs. I guarantee you that's what this guy was on, man. He was streaming them before they came out officially. He got the files. And he was just playing it on the emulator. And he, he was trying to stream. All this for some clout, bro. He was doing all this for clout because he was streaming it, on, I think, on Kick, Twitch, all that stealing the anticipation that a lot of fans uh, of these games uh, like and and what they kind of bank on. According to the lawsuit, Nintendo warned Keegan multiple times, but that he wrote back saying, I have a thousand burner channels and we can do this all day. No. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Hold on. What did I just see? What did I just see? Did he try to like threaten Nintendo? Did he try to just troll Nintendo back? They warned this man. And he responded by saying, I have thousands of burner channels. Yeah. <laughs> this guy just doesn't like freedom. Day. We found Keegan streaming online last week and I reached out to him in the chat room. You know this guy gotta have a neck beard or something, bro. 300 pounds plus, virgin, neck beard, all that. Mom's basement. Oh, okay, nine news, yeah. Yeah, 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 okay, I see that. I, see. I asked if he knew about the lawsuit. At the time, it was news to him. No, I haven't been served. Eventually, he texted, I still haven't been served with the lawsuit, so I don't think it's smart to do any interviews. He added he plans to file 4K or let them get a default judgment to avoid setting precedent for emulation streaming. Are you trying to like act like you're the victim? Hold on, let me let me let me see if I seen that right. I still haven't been served with the lawsuit, so I don't think it's smart to do any interviews. But my plan is to file for bankruptcy and or let them get a default judgment to avoid this setting any precedent for emu This man's trying to act like the victim. Yeah, I, good luck with that. Now in a statement, a spokesperson for Nintendo wrote that the company is quote is passionate about protecting the creative works of game developers and publishers. In the meantime, Keegan had his Okay, that part was bullshit. <laughs> I got to give him that. Nintendo don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck about us. All right, so I was curious to see what games this man risked his entire life over. So we're going to be looking through them right here. They better be some damn good games because man, Nintendo stated that Keegan's actions jeopardized his marketing strategies. On numerous occasions, he reportedly streamed Unreleased titles including Mario and Luigi Brothership. These early leaks. Oh, yeah, because this game released. If you don't know, this game actually leaked like two or three weeks before the official release date. So he was streaming Brothership. Okay, okay. Nintendo seems to be pretty firm regarding all of this. Seeking 150,000 per infringement. With over 50 alleged incidents in two years. That's how he racked up that $7.5 million bounty, nigga. This man streaming on kick to one viewer. You can't make this shit up. It literally says one viewer. You did all this shit for one viewer. Streaming goddamn Mario Party. What do you guys think? Do you think this guy ruined a little bit of the hype for Mario and Luigi Brothership? I'm personally going to play the game myself. I haven't been spoiled to anything, but Nintendo seems to think otherwise. So 
Apparently this is his YouTube channel or Twitch channel or whatever. He's got 15 followers. Okay, so here was the early access brothership gameplay. All right, okay. <laughs> this is just crazy. He sent an emoji, bro. He said, we can do this all day. Okay, apparently he was streaming, what is it? This is Echoes of Wisdom? The new Zelda game, that chibi shit? Okay, so he, he was playing a bunch of like, of the Nintendo game, the first party Nintendo games, the $60 beefy titles. And you saw earlier he was playing Mario Party, so. Apparently this was on some type of Discord forum or GitHub or Reddit or something. Even after Nintendo tried to get rid of all the Switch emulators, this man was still linking the Ryujin X links, the Yuzu links, talking about some, no, it's not dead. <laughs> he was giving all these leaks, the prod keys, you got the, the ROMs themselves. Love y'all. Capitalism is cancer. My channel is being deleted for sharing gameplay videos. This is your reward. All that for what? A drop of clout? What do you gain from this, bro? Why can't you just be like the rest of us? Just be like the rest of us and play our your ROMs and, and whatnot in secret. You don't gotta post it online. Just do it in secret. Nintendo can't be on your ass for that, right? But no, you wanna be cool. You wanna broadcast it to the entire world. Clout is one hell of a drug, man. In my opinion, there's nothing wrong with emulation. There's nothing wrong with ROMs, Nintendo ROMs, Nintendo emulation, as long as you're smart about it. Don't be streaming on Twitch or Kick or, or YouTube and think you can get away with it, bro. Nintendo has eyes everywhere and you're streaming on a mainstream platform. You're gonna get caught at some point, especially when you're not even like secretive about it and you're like putting the, the specs of the game from Ryujin X in the, the window itself, like that, that part was just crazy to me, man. And I, I, I love the Switch hacking scene. I love the Nintendo hacking scene, man. I may or may not be a part of it myself. I just bought this. And if you don't know what this is, just know what's inside of here. It involves this and this. If you know, you know. For educational purposes, of course, right? I would never infringe on any type of intellectual property or any type of theft of any of their properties at Nintendo. That's gonna do it for this one. Let me know in the comments of what you think about this whole situation, man. This guy's a clown. Unless he's a crypto millionaire or something like that, I don't think he's getting out of this one. Take care of yourselves. Focus on what matters. I'm out. Step